everybody. Um, well, <laughs> it's not what I expected today. Um, it's uh, actually snowing outside as I'm about to start filming this um, Easter basket video, which is not what you're expecting in March. Um, but it has been known to um, snow on my birthday and my daughter's, which are middle and then the end of March. So yeah, it's, I suppose it isn't a surprise. So anyway, thank you very much um, if you've uh, joined us today and uh, this is the first time joining. Uh, it's nice to meet you. And um, if uh, you're returning, thanks very much for doing so. So today it is a home bargains haul um, and um, it's an Easter basket or ideas for little ones. Um, but um, also I've got some goodies here from my own brand. Um, so I just thought they might be of interest to you. So starting off, this is um, the hamper basket, um, wooden box, crate, hamper uh, for Easter that I picked up from Home Bargain. So I think you'll agree that's a really cute. Um, and they're really robust. So I think you'll be able to keep those year on year on year. Um, I haven't actually bought more than one. I've only just bought the one thinking, well, I think it'll last and last. And as we get more grandchildren, they'll all stuff will just go in the basket. So in here, I have the, the storage box is £6.49. And then in here, we've got some Easter PJs to start with, which I think are really, really cute. So these have got spotty pants. There you go, and the bunny on the front. There were other varieties. The Easter PJs, these are in three to four, but they had them right down from babies age to um, older children. And so these ones have got spotty pants. They had pink bottoms to them and lemon bottoms to them and white ones with eggs on and all sorts of things. They were 5 99 So obviously you don't have to have Easter PJs, but always at this time of year, you know, some of the wintry PJs are perhaps getting a bit thick. Obviously not today because it's snowing. Um, so yeah, you're always needing to buy them because they've grown the next size and these will be the first pair for my grandson of age three to four. So that's those. And then also in here, I've got some bunny marshmallows there which were i think they were something like 199 or something like that so yeah they're really cute great for adding bulk into um the hamper and then we've got this which is a twin peaks bar now did i get this from home bargains or i might have had this from somewhere else actually let me have a look this is, um, it's got Easter eggs in it. Um, no, I think I did have it from Home Bargains. So yeah, I think that was two pounds as well. And then we've got some mini eggs. Now, um, I wouldn't tend to put these in my um, grandson's box, but I have put them in here just to show you things you could add. But I want to give a little warning on these because these are hard eggs. These are not great for little ones because what happens is this is as wide as their um, as their gosh why can't I think of the word anyway this is going to cause a choking hazard because these are hard crispy outings so these are not what I bought for in my grandson's thing I actually bought the Malteser um, bunnies unfortunately he found them. And um, of course, so they're now not eaten. Uh, we had the milk chocolate ones and the white chocolate ones, and they're all now gone. So they were pound a bag. These are a pound a bag, but please don't give these to, I would say, children that are under five um, because they are a choking hazard. So they will not be going to my grandson. They will be, he, they will be substituted with some Maltese and bunnies when I get a chance to go and get them. Um, 
then I also got these rather cute hanging Easter bunnies which uh, I thought were really, really cute. So they are, I think they were 199. You could just hang those up on a little hook or on their bedroom door, just to add a little bit of Easter into your house. They had them in pink. This one's got spots on. They had them in pink, blue, mint, lemon. Yeah, I think that was it. And there was another bunny that was, I think a sitting bunny as well, which I thought they were really cute. Nice to add into um, their Easter baskets because then you can get those out next year. And that's um, really nice to keep. And this is the Easter egg that I'm buying for my grandson. It's a really small Easter egg. I don't think there's any need for him to have more chocolate than this because he will get chocolate from other people. So this is just a Dairy Milk Freddo faces and I think that's absolutely enough for him to have um so yeah so that's that one that I think that was a pound I got those from Tesco they've got a fantastic offer on eggs at the moment on Tesco and then I got this which actually says this is a drinks cup it's got a nice straw in it this has got a green straw in it and it's iridescent this and it's got a lid which has a sort of sucky seal thing um so it says on the front there's no bunny like you I don't know whether you can see the writing on there um yeah so i thought that was really really cute um and i think you could get those for older children as well so what was the price of that oh gosh i've been there that many times i bought that many different things i think they were 1.99 as well um but none of these are out of the way expensive of course on the other side is a little bunny's face and little bunny feet here body carrying an easter egg and the little bunny's face at the top and then also in the basket are my very own easter hunt bags now this one's got a spotty beige bunny on it i also do them in other colors as well so there is one with a blue bunny on it which i've tried to pull out out of the stock and i couldn't find that at the minute but um i'll pop a picture on there's this one that's got the bunny print on with the heart and um, then this which is pink spot which is really cute and this one in a pink floral as well. Um, so yeah, they are £6.50 um, and really great bag to have for Easter egg hunts. Really easy for kids to hold, to collect their egg eggs in and they're brilliant little bags for um, taking out with you when you go out to a restaurant um with a few little toys in um we've we've this is what they started off as really um i used to get my kids to take little toys out in them so they'd maybe have some little um dinosaurs or um little dollies figures to play with then you can pop a little some coloring a uh, little coloring book in and some crayons um even if you go to somewhere that does give you a colouring sheet, often the crayons aren't brilliant. Um, sometimes we pop a little book in here um, and all the sorts of pocket money toys that you would pick up, fidget toys. Um, what else have we had? The little wind up things like little chicks that jump, um, bunnies that jump, that sort of thing. Really cute little things that you can pick up at the National Trust or um, we've picked them up recently um, at Glebe Farm which is local to us. Um, anytime you go out to one of these kiddie type spaces they have like pocket money bits and bobs. Well the kids want to buy something, they play with it that day and then they sort of discard it in their room. Squirrel it away, pop it in one of these bags, have it hung on the hook and then when you go out and you want to treat tea, take them out for tea, pop this little bag in the car. Um, it'll be stuffed. 
you keep stuff in it that they wouldn't play with at home, that they're not allowed to have at home, and then going out for tea, let them let them empty out what's in the bag and they'll be like, oh yeah, I love this. And then they'll play with it for a while and just, it'll last as long as tea. Um, and then pop them all back in the bag again and they forget about with them till next time. So yeah, they work really, really well. They're £6.50, um, including postage. If you're local to me, obviously you can come and collect from me or we do the treacle market on uh, last Sunday of every month. And we are also doing stalls in the local hospital as well. If you go on our Facebook, you'll be able to find the dates that we are doing. So yeah, that is our Easter baskets. Oh, also, I have also got some backpacks with bunny ears on and tails. Now, I haven't got one of those to show you. I will pop a picture up here, um, but we've got some new fabrics on there because we've actually sold out. So we've made a load more with slightly differing fabrics. Some of them have got spot ears, checked ears, floral ears. Uh, they're really, really cute with a massive big pom-pom tail on. Um, and uh, yeah, they're really, really cute. And they look adorable wearing those on their backs, hopping about, um, collecting eggs or otherwise. Great for taking out when you go out shopping with them. And they can put a few little things in their backpacks. So, yeah. So those are the, that's the Easter basket for children hope you liked that and um, i've got another video coming up with easter decorations as well thank you very much for joining me lots of other intake of content like this if you want to subscribe that would be great um and uh, drop in a like or any comments of what you would like to see on the videos in future thank you for joining me oh i've been rebecca vernon thank you bye